happenings around the world have come to strengthen the consensus of a very vital part of human life. Consent. This word has often been undermined by many, especially in the world of business. When conducting transactions with partners, holding meetings with stakeholders, offering a service to clients or marketing goods to customers. Before we proceed, why don't we shed more light on the meaning of consent? The Oxford language defines consent as permission granted in the knowledge of the possible consequences, typically that which is given by a patient, for example, to a doctor for treatment, with full knowledge of the possible risks and benefits. For consent to be, there should be position in place. For young entrepreneurs like us, vying to thrive in the world of hustle and bustle, you will agree with me that one of the ways to retain clients is to establish loyalty. How does one establish loyalty to something he doesn't regard? The client says, okay, I need this, so I'm going for it. The intent may be self-centered, but the need is very essential, which means I, on the other hand, have to propose what is in alliance with the client's need because that's the only leverage I've got to get the client's attention and probably an edge to get the client's approval. Consent. Which leads us to the law of demand and supply, which states that other factors being constant, cetris peribus, price and quantity of demands of any good and service are inversely related to price and quantity supplied. Consent can come in diverse forms. It could be implied, it could be expressed, it could be informed, and it could be unanimous. Let your customers feed you with their needs. Help build an atmosphere of comfort while they are at it. Don't give out any expression of disdain when you come across critical comments. Most times, wise words are often embedded in stern, objective comments than mild, jovial compliments. Allow them to share their feedback after every purchase or transaction or post or article. This informs you of your next form of improvement. Let's cite an instance. Right Foods Engine, producers of the most famous Coke competitors, Biggie Cola, got feedback from customers that most of their drinks are too sweet or carbonated, but they needed something stronger for the daily life in Lagos, the hustle and the bustle. Shortly after, in 2018, they introduced their best ever selling energy drink, Fearless. Now the bookmakers got the consent of many customers to make a non alcoholic drink that will match their very much active lifestyle. Little did they know they were giving an edge to their own brand. Coke never thought about this. Consent matters in all facets of life, most especially business. When we mention consent, take your mind off all the negative vibes from the media. That's not what we're talking about. Channel your wits towards a genuine cause. You need to sustain your audience's loyalty to your brand. Why don't you get their consent of what they need? Provide support. Give quality service. You're giving yourself an edge in the world of business. Thoughts, comments, or you want to share your expression about the video you just watched? Feel free to share your comments in the comment section below. I'll be glad to hear your thoughts and also share feedbacks and we can network because consent is very essential. Till I come your way next time, I remain being that way.